Greece has been the largest uh, beneficiary of uh, AIB's uh, funding for 2018. So how this happened? It was because of your focus in the country or because we are getting better in absorbing those funds? Uh, and we have a great message uh, for, as the EU bank here in Delphi, which is that uh, we have been and intend to remain Greece's main international financing partner for, uh, for the investments needed for further economic recovery in this country. As you mentioned last year, we, we uh, financed about, uh, we in debt and, uh, and other forms of transactions, about 1.9 billion in transactions. That probably supported around 6 billion in total capital formation investments in Greece. And when you put that into context, um, that's probably about 1 in 5 euros invested in Greece uh, in 2018. So what's in the pipeline for uh, this year? Well, again, we'd like to further expand the, the, uh, the corp direct corporate lending pipeline. Um, we're also looking at a number of major uh, public infrastructure projects. So obviously we're looking at uh, Metro 4, uh, Metro Line 4 mm -hmm. in, in, in Athens. Um, obviously we'll, we'll uh, finish the financing of, of TANAP. Um, we're still looking at a number of other renewable energy transmission distribution projects. We're looking at a number of, um, uh, of road projects. Uh, in the transport sector. So it's, it's, again, it's going to be a nice mixed portfolio that addresses the needs of the Greek economy as it, uh, as, as it continues to recover. It will be of uh, the same level of funding, I mean, the numbers? I would expect... Or we, even more? Well, there's no reason why it, 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 it can't be more. Um, in fact, I would, I would expect uh, that our overall lending volumes as a bank globally uh, should actually increase a little bit in, in, in 2019. And there's no reason why Greece cannot, uh, cannot um, uh, build on the performance in, in 2018. We don't allocate specific amounts of money country by country in terms of country oh, quotas. Yes. We finance the projects wherever they come. You have been now uh, the advisor of the Prime Minister in Ireland. Uh, so, and you have been involved in the development banking activities. Um, here, uh, the Greek government is setting up a, devel a development uh, bank. So what's uh, your take on this? Do you think this initiative will help the economy, will stimulate investments? So we set up a, uh, a national promotional institution called the Strategic Banking Corporation of Ireland to, uh, to pass on cheap funding to the private sector and also uh, to offer guarantees and, uh, and risk sharing uh, with, the private for, with, with commercial banks for lending to the private sector. And it's worked quite well. Um, so in principle, it's a good idea. The key is governance. I mean, this is the key, is, yes. is that it's got sufficiently independent and professionalized governance um, that it is, um, it is targeting the best sectors, the best companies, and the real market gaps. And, and I think in, this is a challenge in every country, is to keep it sufficiently independent of, of the short-term political pressures that it is really focusing on the long-term needs of the economy. Uh, so the devil is always in the detail, mm -hmm. and I do think, in in uh, in looking at the governance of this and the structure of this, involving international institutions like the EIB, like the EBRD, involving us in in that structure can give it a badge of credibility um, that may be very important for other financiers of such an institution. I also think it's it's a good idea to make sure it's complementing what international financial institutions like the EIB can already do. So there's no mm -hmm. point simply replicating or competing with what we, 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 yeah. we already do. Uh, and so let's not reinvent the wheel. They will leverage the EU uh, funds. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good idea, leveraging the EU funds. And, uh, but we've got, some, you know, we've got some great initiatives in this country already in areas like Equifund in terms of developing a... Uh, uh, a venture capital industry and an equity culture in this country, and and, and let's 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 work with those and and build on that uh, with, with a new national development bank, and uh, w without kind of replacing what's already been done and or competing with what's already been done by the international financial institutions. So yeah, I think it's a good idea, uh, but the devil is always in the detail, and we're certainly happy to to work with the Greek government, with our own advisory services and our operations team, to uh, to guide this in the right direction. So you are in talks with the government about the, this project of the development bank already or not yet? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, on and off, and uh, yes. Yeah, so informally, we're 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 following this very closely, and in, in conversations with the, with officials from the Greek government. Because of your expertise. Also. Yeah, and also obviously we would be a natural partner mm -hmm. uh, f in terms of financing uh, for such an institution in the longer run. So it makes sense to uh, to involve us uh, in those informal conversations uh, at an early stage.